Hello, welcome to the daily vlog. All right, let's get right into it. So, recap of yesterday. Um, I was doing the push-ups, or the chin-ups, push-ups, and ab challenge. Uh, 100 chin-ups, 200 push-ups, and 300 reps of ab workout of some kind. And I was able to, I got that done. Um, Alejandro, no, not all in the exact same set. I didn't sit there and do 100 chin-ups all at once. I spread them out over 10 sets. I'm working on that. Maybe one day I'll get to where I can do 100 chin-ups, but that is not today. So, but I did complete it, and Kate also, her plan was to try to do um, some chin-ups and some push-ups, and she was able to get um, almost all the chin-ups she set out to do and almost all of the push-ups. I think her goal was to try to do 10 chin-ups and like 20 push-ups or something like that. I don't want to say she did like seven or eight chin-ups and, you know, 18 push-ups or 17 push-ups, something like that. So she didn't quite get what she was what she was going for, but then again, she also has uh, two little kids to chase around all day. So it's a little more difficult for her to make time to do that. So that was yesterday's challenge. Um, it went well. I'm feeling I'm feeling better about you know just working out and, and how everything's going. I feel stronger as I'm doing this, which is good. That's sort of the point. Um, I haven't stepped on a scale in oh two weeks. Oh well, uh, yeah, going on two weeks now, which I think is good. I have worried about that as much. Um, Today's goal, today's plan is to do the 400 squats again. I did that on Friday and as of yesterday I could still feel a little bit of soreness from doing that challenge on Friday which should tell you about the the state of you know how strong my legs are or aren't at the moment. So I'm working on that. And hopefully I get that uh, get that stronger. That's the plan. So today, 400 squats is the challenge. What I'm going to be attempting to do. And also this evening when I get back from work, there is a, a place, I actually just drove by it, that they have these, these tires that I can go pick up. I've been meaning to do it over the last couple of days. It hasn't worked out. But today I am planning on um, stopping by there after work. Yeah. Stopping by there after work so I can pick up one of these big tires and start doing some cardio in the morning using that tire and a sledgehammer. Woohoo! When I get that, I will show you what I am planning on doing and you can tell me how ridiculous it is should you choose to want to do that. So, that's the plan for today. I hope it works. Hopefully, I mean, we'll just see what happens. We will just see what happens. Thought for the day. Yesterday, while I was doing crunches, I was struck again with this this thought it's kind of one of the guiding thoughts that I've had over the last handful of months and this idea of, of slowing things down but it really struck me because I was doing these doing these crunches and I realized I was going so fast or trying to go so fast doing these crunches just to finish you know just to get to the number 30 <sighs> sorry Apparently, I yawn now with these videos. Um, and so I was going so fast just trying to get to the number 30 that I wasn't even doing really good. Uh, I wasn't even doing really good crunches. I wasn't worried about the technique. I wasn't worried about actually like what the purpose of the crunch was. I was just trying to get, get it done. And that's sort of a good... Um, a good metaphor for the last few years of my life just this pushing to get done with whatever it is that you're doing just get through it get to the finish line don't worry about what it is that you're trying to accomplish or trying to achieve and I think I've missed out on a lot of life lessons because of that because I have just blown right through them and not worried about them I've missed out on these life lessons and that is something that I'm trying to stop doing. So I slowed down my, my sets uh, and, and slowed down the next sets of, um, of have workouts. 
And it just made me really sort of realize this idea of slowing things down and really taking my time. Um, it translates over to a lot of different things, and I need to apply it to most of the things that I do in general in life and just slow them down and make sure that I'm doing them well, that I'm doing them right, that I'm getting out of that situation what I need to get out of that situation and not just getting through it and trying to finish and trying to be done with that situation. So um, there's there's thought for the day. Just again, slowing it down, take time, um, you know, learning and getting out of the different situations what I need to get out of them and really committing to committing to that so yeah there's a thought for the day um, I'll let you know tomorrow how the squat thing goes hopefully I can walk again tomorrow uh, I don't think it'll be quite as bad um, after the chin ups and the push ups and all that yesterday I don't feel nearly as sore as I did on Friday after I did the chin ups and push ups and sit ups on Thursday so hopefully tomorrow the legs aren't killing me as much and I can really just start to power through these things, start to add numbers, start to add reps, um, and really just sort of build up my strength in these different areas, so that's the plan, I'm sticking to it, I will let you guys know tomorrow how it goes, and as always, please please feel free to leave a comment below, let me know if you uh, miss Kate and wish that she was in this video, uh, I'll understand if you do, I just had to leave, get out of the house pretty quick this morning, because we slept in a bit later, I think some of the some of the late nights finally caught up with us. We were not able to wake up at 5.30 when the alarm went off. Um, so I had to basically just get up, throw my clothes on, get ready, and go to work. So uh, maybe we, tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow, I will be able to make this from home again with Kate. But again, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And I will see y'all tomorrow.